artwork folder. Uh, I don't see any reason why you'd ever not want to copy the item into the destinations group folder. Uh, so make sure that's uh, clicked on there and then click add. And you can see obviously now it, uh, it's shown up in there, but uh, more importantly in the, let's get out of this for a second, in this folder, which opened off screen, it, it did add that um, PNG file into uh, my project folder. Okay, so uh, that way now, if um, I want to if I wanted to change the image all and replace it, uh, I could just overwrite uh, the image that's currently in there, and that's probably the uh, the best method of doing that, or and possibly even the only one. Because I think if I were to dump this in here again, it's going to give me an error. Let's see. Yeah, okay, could not copy to it. So you just need to now replace the source file inside of there. And uh, the uh, the iPhone really likes uh, PNG files. I think I read somewhere in there that even if you don't need to add an alpha channel um, to the uh, to the image, it, it still uh, prefers that you include PNGs in there. And then it's going to do its own kind of compression anyway. So, yeah, bring in PNGs. And now uh, let's just do a quick save of the document. And let's go back over here to Interface Builder. Select on this. And sure enough, there is that image inside of there. Okay, what's going on with that thing? That is looking pretty funky. Uh, let's choose Aspect Fit. Okay, and I believe... I still, I still kind of forget sometimes the differences between these. Yeah, you can see that that's, it's keeping the same um, uh, uh, proportions, but it's just scaling it up and down based on how big, how big it is. And then two, we want to take off opaque so that, uh, because I did bring in an, an image with an alpha channel. So now it's showing me all the, you know, that nice three see through stuff and then uh, you can also do aspect fill which let me check out this one okay so what's going on here is that it will allow for clipping on the sides of this whereas with aspect fit it's just going to shrink it uh, down to the correct size and then you can also go through and, and choose like center so it'll always be centered in there um, that one too is is gonna always have uh, clipping okay um, this is a um, maybe a kind of good one because you can have you can have this bounding box where the size of it um, you know bigger than than you need it's gonna keep a, the image in there as as the size that you kind of intended I'm assuming whatever size you brought in as is the size size that you intend and then too since it's always gonna be centered inside of this box right here, uh, you can use uh, this code right here, dot center, and um, always kind of know exactly where the center point is of your image with those uh, numbers that you set there. And when I was working on um, my game, which was, uh, you know what, it's about time I actually plug this thing. Hold on. Here you go. And this isn't just a straight plug, because I will show you some of the elements in, inside this game that. Um, I use center for so like this scope right here was something that you could follow around with oops that you could follow around with the with uh, your finger all right so when your finger touched it uh, the scope would follow around that was something that I used center for because um, basically I was just keeping track of exactly where your finger was on the screen and then the center point of that particular object was always going to be where your finger is at whereas uh, something will come up in a second that I definitely did not use uh, center for. Um, well, things that I was going to animate, uh, there, there was a little thing that would slide down from up top here. Uh, that, I think, for the most part, I, uh, there, this thing would slide down, up and down like that. Uh, that, I don't think I, I chose to use um, center with. I, I probably did uh, aspect, um, fill, or even top. And top is kind of an obvious one. The the you know, and you can see it reflected in what I just did there. The top of the image is always going to go to the top of whatever your kind of bounding box is or your frame for it, I should say. Um, and then top left, that's kind of another obvious one. So, you know, as you work through your project, um, you're obviously going to figure out which of those settings um, work best. And it's also something you can change um, programmably. But uh, you know, I think probably that gets into a more confusion than you want. 
Um, if you can just kind of early on figure out what mode you're going to want to use for it, you'll save yourself a little bit of headache changing it uh, with code. Uh, where else are we headed here? Um, it, uh, by default, I think in previous versions of Xcode, um, user interaction was always clicked on. Um, in the more recent ones, uh, it's it's not enabled. So if you do want uh, people to be able to uh, click on this guy, you're going to want to uh, be sure that user interaction is enabled. And then, let's see, did that change anything over here? No. And then, um, hmm, man, there's so many things that we can kind of go into here. Well, right, let's, well, let me, let me make the box for this uh, a little bit smaller. I know I said I was going to rig this thing up with Interface Builder, but um, since I'm looking at this, the auto sizing things here, I, I do kind of want to talk about it. Uh, you can, I mean, obviously you guys all know that you can turn your iPhone and it'll change, or you can set it so that it possibly uh, changes um, the orientation of it. Uh, over here in the top right, you can see that um, in your view, you can, you know, you can give yourself an idea of how things are going to um, change. And um, you can leave it up to the um, auto sizing, okay, which is um, set over here. Uh, or you can do it programmably. We're going to talk about um, both in a, in a future tutorial, but if you want to just like really quickly play around with that, um, you can see that this little um, red icon right here, this red, red square, is kind of indicating how this um, object is going to auto size. So let's say if I were to, I'm going to put it up in the top left of the view. So if I were to rotate it, it should say, stay top left over there. All right, so let me flip it back. Uh, now, if I select it again and I took this off, so I, I unclicked that right there, you can see that it changes where uh, this guy's going to end up. So let me try it again now. And it ends up on the right side over there. Uh, I thought it actually would have been in the middle. Let's try it uh, like this. So let's see. Yeah. Um, this is a really great way of um, changing things around, uh, or of auto-sizing. Great at times, I should say. Uh, sometimes it's a crapshoot where you just kind of don't know where it's going to end up. Um, and, you know, I don't, I'm, I actually haven't played around with it that recently, so I kind of forget a little bit too um, exactly how that, that auto-sizing sometimes affects things. Like, let's try it like this and see. Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't think that it was going to go off screen like that. Uh, so, again, yeah, we'll 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 talk we'll talk at a later time about um, how to really be sure that your objects end up, um, you know, orientating how you want or not at all. Okay. Um, in fact, let's see. Is that? No. Okay. Well, I thought that was going to. Uh stop the auto resizing altogether. Anyway, uh, let's step back over here and uh, let's set this guy up so that we can communicate to him. So uh, IB outlet one more time and then UI image view. Uh, don't forget to add the view onto that because let me step back over here to interface builder. Remember when I drag this uh, image view onto here, that was my little indication of what it actually is, UI image view. Uh, there is such a thing as a UI image. As you saw, it, it did change color there, um, but you don't want to confuse the two. And then let's just call this my image. Okay, hit save. And then let's just go ahead and copy out this part right here. And we can copy out that part right there. And then let's uh, hold down Option, Apple, and the Up button. Okay, remember that switches between our header and our implementation file. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it this way so it reflects it in the screen capture. And then uh, let's go and synthesize my image. Okay, and at this point, let's go ahead and just put a little comment here. Um, 
this will be how about button